Today we're reviewing this right here. Now you're not having deja vu. This is the Smith & Wesson m and Shield, except this guy is in the 30 Super Carry. What's going on everybody? This is Steve with the Mr. Big Kid channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate your viewership and patronage. Yes. <laughs> all right. Before we get started on this video, huge shout out to Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo. They supplied the gun and the ammunition for this testing. 30 Super Carry is kind of expensive, so I definitely appreciate it. Go check them out. Thank you guys. This right here is the M&P Shield Plus, except this is in 30 Super Carry some preconceived ideas that I had about 30 Super Carry. Cause I've never fired it before until I got this guy. So I thought the 30 Super Carry was gonna be a light shooter. Um, obviously it has a smaller diameter than a nine millimeter. You can also have a larger mag capacity because of that. So sure enough, this is no different. This is exactly what I thought it would be. This is a 30 Super Carry. So you have a lot skinnier of a bullet. I'll show you guys a comparison between a 30 Super Carry and a nine millimeter. Right here we have the 30 Super Carry, and right here we have a 9mm round. So you can see a 30 Super Carry is a lot skinnier than a 9mm, but the casing itself is a little bit taller. And of course you have a smaller diameter bullet. This is a 30 cal round, and this is a 9mm, which is close to a 38 cal round, give or take. So there's a size difference for you. The 30 Super Carry is actually not as soft of a shooter as I thought it would be. Now, that could be because of how spoiled I am with all the different guns I've fired out there. And now 30 Super Carry is not as puny of a round as I thought it would be either. The handgun worked really well, except for one particular issue that I was having. And it's a weird issue, and I actually experienced it once on my M&P Shield Plus Performance Center. One issue that I've been experiencing with this guy is, let's say you load it up for the first time, right? You lock it back, you load in a full magazine, this thing gets stuck open. And I'll actually show you guys a couple of video clips right here. 30 Super Carry. Let's see, I, you know, they said it's supposed to be just as good as nine, but it's a little bit skinnier, a little bit more of a punch. Uh, it's coming out of a Shield Plus, which has uh, 16 plus rounds in it. I think that one, the MAGA gave you is like 13, I think. Oh wow. So 16 with the extended. But 16 with an extended. That's a, that's a flat out pocket gun. That's a freaking awesome deal right there, in my opinion. Yep. So, Well, that's weird. You know, the old shield used to do that too. You gotta give it like a straight back pull. Yeah. Your... So, you go in and over. Well, there's something to talk about. That's weird. God dang, I can't even push that fucking thing up. Ah. Uh, here, let me call my grandma and see if she can come in. Do try that. Do the same thing. <laughs> Maybe I just gotta quit being a bitch about it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right. Totally gonna include that in the video because that is actually an issue that's happened with the old shields as well. I noticed over time something about this kind of locks up. Um, don't know exactly what it is, but let's see. If so we're gonna do it again. Let's test it again. Okay. In, over top. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull back and push it down with my thumb. I went forward like that, but not just straight over top for me. I don't know why. All right, so I'm gonna test it out the same way myself. I'm gonna load it up the same way that Josh was loading it up, see if I can replicate the issue. All right. Is it the round? Maybe he's gonna quit being a bitch about it. <laughs> oh, got it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's 
Maybe it's that 13th round doesn't like. Maybe. I've actually heard people say that. I'm not too yeah. sure exactly why it did that, but um, it was an issue. We just kind of like wiggle it around and drop the mag, put the mag back in, and then sure enough, it would actually close sometimes. All right, so if you guys haven't noticed, this is the Ear Pro that I pretty much use on all my shooting videos. These are the Axel GS Extreme 2.0s. And absolutely love these things. And if you guys are interested in the pair yourself, I have a link in the description below and on the pinned comment. These things enhance sound. Um, they're electronic ear pro with Bluetooth. So you can hook them up to your phone, make calls, take calls, listen to music. They enhance sound and then the phone blocks the loud noises out. So pretty cool stuff. Now, when this thing actually closed and went into battery, this thing performed awesome. Very good shooter. So we were thinking about what's a good test for a 30 Super Carry to see the power that it kind of has. Now, it's not a scientific test. I'm not too worried about that. But I will say we shot the dueling tree from Shooting Targets USA. Now, what that is, is a dueling tree has six paddles on it. These are steel paddles and they're kind of heavy, but it takes some momentum and some energy to hit those paddles and then knock it over to the other side. So if you just shoot the dueling tree with say a 32 ACP, a 25 or a 22 LR, it's not going to actually swing those paddles. You'll see the paddle, you'll see it impact the paddle. It'll bounce it a little bit, but it's not going to swing it over. This is a good test right here. And this was an idea from Josh over at Black Diamond Guns and Gear. Right here, we have a Shooting Targets USA dueling tree. These are some big old metal flaps that hang off the side and a nine millimeter has just enough power to push these things around. The question is, can a 30 Super Carry make these flaps swing around to the other side? So that's actually a good test. And let's do it, let's test it. Well, flipped them around. I mean, assuming I hit it, it flipped around. This thing, the 30 Super Carry, was taking those paddles and it was rocketing them to the other side just like it would a nine millimeter. Even a nine, sometimes depending on where you hit that paddle, might not swing it over. This thing pretty much impacted just with what seemed like a very similar amount of energy as the nine millimeter. One thing I wanna talk about is, is 30 Super Carry worth it? Now, I'm gonna say it's a relatively new round. Now, I know it's not a brand new round, but it's a pretty new round out there. So all the 30 Super Carry ammo that I've shot and was supplied with was Remington Full Metal Jacket ammo. This right here is what I've been shooting. This is a 100 grain uh, 30 Super Carry right here. The problem is this stuff costs about $32 a box right now. It's about twice the cost of nine millimeter. And the problem is this is also full metal jacket. This is not self-defense, it's not hollow points, nothing like that. This is full metal jacket, um, practice ammo, really. That's what this is, um, just ball target ammo. And it's about 32 bucks a box. So the problem is there's not a lot of manufacturers that have picked up the 30 super carry cartridge yet. So that's limiting. That's what's causing these higher prices. And who knows, maybe in the future, this round takes off enough to where it's affordable and uh, more people pick it up. The problem is right now, that's not the case. It's still a very unique ammunition out there. Just for comparison's sakes, here is my MMP Shield Plus nine millimeter. And then here is the 30 Super Carry version. And these, from what you can see, are identical in size. 30 Super Carry is on the bottom, nine mil is on top. Everything's the same, same width, same slides really, minus uh, two big features, of course. This guy, of course, has no optic plate, and then you have the lightning cuts on the slide and a ported barrel, whereas this guy right here um, has no lightning cuts, no ported barrel, but you do have an optic cut right there. So, optic cuts, I'm a huge fan. I love red dots on pistols. So anything that has an optic cut, heck yeah, I am down. Magazine capacity is 16 rounds with the little extendo right here. And you can probably get a couple more out of that with um, some aftermarket extensions, but 16 plus one rounds. And the difference is, and this is why I like this gun a lot. So you have this nice capacity 30 super carry, right? That seemingly has about the same power as a nine millimeter, 16 plus one rounds. The thing is, this is a pocket pistol. This, I can honestly say, is small enough to be something you can put in your pocket in a holster though, put it in a holster. This is small enough to be a pocket pistol. So you really have a very, very super compact handgun 
with a high capacity. Now I'm not gonna say high capacity magazines because that is stupid, but not this. This is just a good healthy capacity, standard capacity magazine. All right, today we got this guy right here. This is the Smith & Wesson m and Shield Plus, except this guy is in 30 Super Carry. That's a little tiny skinny bullet, little tiny skinny round right there. Is it something that is needed or liked or wanted? I don't know yet. I've never fired 30 Super Carry. We're gonna test this guy out, see how it performs, how it feels and all that. So here we go. All right, well, it's a flat shooter. Um, recoil is not that bad. This is a non-ported version and um, yeah, capacity, 16 rounds and a little pocket carry micro compact gun, not too shabby. YouTube, social media, whoever I'm posting this video on, this is because I'm teaching you guys how to clean your guns. You have to be able to break it down to clean it. So this is why I'm teaching you this. I'm not violating any rules or anything like that. So to break it down for cleaning, you lock it back you rotate this clockwise and you release it and then you squeeze the trigger and then it releases the whole slide assembly. That's where you have your recoil spring barrel. You can clean all that up, lube it up, whatever you gotta do and that's it. So very easy breakdown on this guy. And that's it. Hope you all found this video useful. Shout out to Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo for supplying me this gun and the ammunition for testing. Myth & Wesson Shield Plus 30 Super Carry is actually pretty dang cool. Not too bad. <laughs>